Hi, it's Steve here from Norwell. Today I'm gonna to run through the wiring packages, how we do the wiring off bench, and then fit them into the canopies, just to give you an insight on the work that goes into these things to ensure you get trouble-free motoring. So as you can see, the panels are all done on the bench. That way we can go through and fit off all the components, check absolutely everything that works correctly on the bench, all the way through to testing and hooking up the battery, followed through by programming, to make sure all the functions are correct, especially on this one with the TVMS module uh, and the Red Vision screen. The way we lay out our panels is put all the useful tools and outlets at the front of the panels. That way it's easily accessible from the outside of the canopy. As you move back, these are the appliances that do the charging. And this is the switching for the digital switching or electronic switching of the uh, lights and inverters and whatnot. Uh, through the back, we've got our shunts and inverters on the opposite side. Now, the way we lay out our panels, we try and conceal as much of the wiring as possible. That's twofold, it gives a nice clean look, but more importantly, it's durable long term. So exposed wires on the outside of the panels can be damaged as you're putting gear in out of the canopy, and all the stuff that's not needed is behind the panel. I'll take you around the back to have a bit of a look at the, the uh, back end of these, these systems. Now it's quite impressive what the guys do here. We make a lot of the looms off bench, so we make up batches of our looms and harnesses. We build them to the same specifications every time and test them and the guys put them together on the benches, make sure every connection is absolutely perfect. So we don't want any vibrations, any rattles to ensure trouble-free motoring. What we do is put conduit on a lot of the connections and then we use a heat-proof tape which wraps around. So what this does is ensure that the cables are tight, vibration-free, and we use a lot of custom brackets to hold the looms as well as P-clips to ensure that everything is not gonna move when you're on the dirt road because nothing's worse than something vibrating loose and uh, rubbing through and, and causing an issue down the track. So we uh, go to the next level just to ensure that everything is absolutely as good as it can be. When all the wiring is complete on the bench, uh, the Autolec team goes through and does a very stringent and rigid test of every single component. They go through and cross-check every single one of the connections. They go through to make sure that the bolts are tight they check the torque settings on all the appliances to make sure nothing's gonna rattle loose. Uh, and they go through, uh, I think it's about 100 check sheets for this uh, platinum wiring kit that we go through to ensure that nothing is missed and you have trouble-free motoring for years to come. Now, everything we do on the back of this panel is designed to be mounted solidly so it doesn't move like I was saying before. But stuff that you might need to access in the future, what we do is use these little things called clinch nuts. So that way, this item, for example, the Red Vision screen if you ever damage the screen or it stops working in the, in the future, you can actually remove this without removing the panel due to the little clinch nuts. So you just undo the bolts from the face side, remove it, and you can swap out the part easily. Items that don't break down or you don't need to access at all are fixed with nylock nuts on the back side of the panels uh, to ensure that nothing comes loose. This package today that we're looking at is our platinum wiring package. So what this package has got included is a 400 amps of Red Arc lithium batteries. These are charged through two charging systems. We've got a manager 30. So what this does, it's got a 30 amp AC input, so you can charge it from the mains. Uh, on, as well as that, it's got a 30 amp solar input as well too. Or if you start the car via the alternator, it puts out 30 amps via the, uh, the vehicle systems. As well as that, we had a, 12, a 1250 DC to DC. Uh, so what this does is runs in tandem on the DC side to put in a maximum of 80 amps of charge when you're driving along to ensure you charge the 400 amps of battery quite rapidly. Uh, in this system, we also run the uh, TVMS module. So what this does is uh, switch your inverter on, your lights on, your air compressor, and add little items that, uh, including your sockets, so you can control them remotely via your phone or through the Red Vision display. Uh, on the other side of the canopy, we've got a 2000 watt inverter, which is great for running a coffee machine or induction cooktop, and having that functionality being able to turn it on and off with your Red Vision uh, app on your phone is, is, yeah, it's really a good function that you can use it remotely. Uh, this package is, like I said, our flagship uh, package. We do offer five of the wiring packages to suit whatever you need. So we've got the entry level systems, which uh, have a DC charger and a lithium battery right through to the flagship one here. Now moving on to one of the other systems that we use is the Enerdrive system. So both the systems we use are either Red Arc or Enerdrive. Now we fit these products because we want to put something into our canopies it's gonna last the test of time. We don't wanna put cheap, inferior products that aren't gonna stand up to the tough conditions that our clients are demanding. So yeah, they're very similar to the uh, Red Arc systems, uh, except Enerdrive do two separate charging units which separate them. So this is a 60 amp AC charger for quickly charging the units uh, when plugged into mains. 
uh, as well as a 40 amp DC charger which has a solar input or the vehicle input to ensure that you charge uh, the, the batteries quite quickly. Uh, this package comes with a 200 amp uh, Enerdrive battery and a couple that with a 2000 watt inverter. Um, the system we use here has got a Symarine panel, so it's good functionality, little touchscreen unit which is quite good uh, to use. Um, but yeah, they're both very good products, um, but yeah, pretty much they're tailored to suit what you need and what you're looking for in the market. Uh, we do have an array of other uh, wiring packages on offer, uh, all the way from our entry level weekender wiring packages, uh, which we've got the Go Block from Red Arc, which is quite a good little unit. It's actually portable. You can remove the battery pack and take it to the beach or take it into your other cars if you want. Uh, we also offer a weekender, which is the Enerdrive system, which has a 40 amp DC charger, 100 amp lithium, um, and all your lights and other outlets, so you can run your fridge and uh, all the other accessories when you take camping. Our mid sec packages, we offer a Tourer from Enerdrive. Uh, this system is uh, not too bad for the entry level guys that uh, want an inverter. It's a 1000 watt inverter, so you can plug in quarter straw batteries or, or smaller current drawer appliances. Uh, we do also have an Ultimate uh, Red Arc kit, uh, which is very similar to the Enerdrive Extreme here. Uh, it's got the Manager 30, 2000 watt inverter and a 200 amp battery to couple it. So uh, yeah, very good offerings. If you've got any more ideas or questions, please visit our website or call one of our staff and they're happy to help you out. Thank you.